In the sketch below, which is not drawn to scale, Q represents an object on the surface of the water in a dam. A person standing on a bridge observes object Q moving up and down. Object Q rises to the top every five seconds. Define the term period. Okay, so in these waves in grade 10, we've always, we, we often speak about something called the period. And we also speak about something called the frequency. Now, frequency is number of waves per second. And then period is number of seconds per wave. So if you read those carefully for yourself, maybe pause and just read it, you'll understand what it means. Frequency tells you how many waves are going to be in one second. So you stand there for one second and you see how many waves there will be. Period says how many seconds do you need to make one wave. Okay, so they are the opposite of each other. These two are the opposite of each other and that's why we also use these formulas that go T equals to 1 over F because T is period, F is frequency, and then the other one is F equals to 1 over T. That is because they are the opposites of each other. Okay, so what is the period of a wave? It is the time taken to complete one oscillation. Oscillation just means like one, it's just one cycle, one wave, just like we said here, for one wave. Okay, so um, there we go. Now this question says, in which direction is object Q about to move? These questions are really easy. All that you're going to do is the following. All I want you to do is take this object over here, and we know that when they give us these kind of waves like this, we know that the wave is moving in this direction. Okay, so the wave is going to move in that direction. So I just want you to take this point over here and I just want you to look to the left. Look to the left, which is on this side. And you can see that the wave is above this point over here. Can you see that? If you look to the left, the wave is above. And if you look to the right, the wave is below. Let me just try and make that a bit more clear. There it's above and here it's below. So on the left hand side, it's still above. And that means this point over here is going to move up. So you're just going to say upwards. If it was a point over here, for example, then you would look to the left and you can see that the wave is below that point. So then it would move down. And if you're, for example, you look at this point over here, if you look to the left, this part over here, you can see it's above. So that part would move up. If you look over, um, for example, over here, if you look to the left, you can see the wave part there is above, so it's going to move up. And if you look over here, for example, um, if you look to the left, that part's below, so it would move down. And then last one, let's say if you looked over here, if you look to the left, you can see that part of the wave is above, so it would move up. And let's just do one more. If you look over here, if you look to the left, this part's below, and so it would move down. Okay, now we're going to get into some calculations. So it says calculate the frequency of the waves. So it tells us that object Q rises to the top every five seconds. So that means that there is one wave every five seconds. So that is the period. So we can say that the period is five. But we know that frequency is 1 over that. So frequency is 1 over the period. And so frequency is going to be 1 over 5, which is 0, 0,2 hertz. And then this one says calculate the speed. Well, we know that there's this formula that we can use. We now have the frequency from the previous question. This is wave length. We can see that they've given us the wave length over here. Um, so that's 1.5. So then we can just say 0 0.2 multiplied by 1.5, and that will give us 0 0.3 meters per second.